Hey folks, uh, this lesson is an application problem in our conic section. We're going to use uh, midpoint formula, distance formula, slope formula, and perpendicular slope and bisectors. Um, so anyway, so we have board problems here and we're going to solve these. And I'm not going to go through solving these uh, in this. I'm just going to give you the answers right there. So if you have questions in class, you can you can ask me. Here you get uh, two answers here and one of them is an extraneous answer. I forgot which one it was here. So square both sides. So remember when you square this side uh, it gets x squared minus 10x plus 25 and here you're going to multiply everything by x plus 1. Here you're going to probably factor this if you can you guys and if you can't use the quadratic formula. I'm afraid of the quadratic formula with numbers like this you guys. So and then uh, distance formula, midpoint formula, slope formula. Okay, so here we go. And then there's my work there. Uh, dun, dun. Okay, application problem. So to find the center of a circle, given three points on a circle, you need to find where the perpendicular bisectors of the chords intersect. So we did this in section 9-1. So here we had um, uh, the perpendicular bisectors anyway. So here we had uh, uh, we had this, uh, this segment here with these uh, two endpoints and we found the midpoint using the midpoint formula. And then we found the slope of this line. So the slope of this line is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here are the midpoints. So you average the x's, average the y's. So the slope of that uh, segment, this guy, was 1 4. So a perpendicular slope is to flip it and change the sign. So we know it's going through this point and has this slope right here because it's a perpendicular bisector. So we use our, our Algebra 1 skills and we get y equals negative 4x plus 9. Well, that's what we're going to do in this lesson here. So here we go. 65 million years ago, an asteroid slammed into Earth, creating an enormous crater. And so we're going to use the labeled points uh, on the outline of the circular crater to estimate, estimate its diameter. Okay, so what we're going to do is find out um, uh, the radius of this circle. Well, we need to find this central point right here. Okay, so we know this point and we, and we made it, you know, nice and conveniently go through 0, 0. And we knew some points right here because this 0, 0 makes it easy right here. Okay, each unit represents one mile right here. So let's find uh, the center by finding the perpendicular bisectors of each chord. This chord right here and this chord right here okay so first we're going to do is find the midpoints okay so the midpoints are um, uh, those two quarter ordered pairs right there and now we're going to find uh, the slopes of those chords okay the slopes of those chords are negative one-third and one so the perpendicular slopes to be flip it and change the sign so perpendicular to this is positive three perpendicular to this is negative one Okay, so then we're going to put it in there and then get to our equation. So there's the equations of those two uh, perpendicular bisectors. Okay, so that's going to be, let's draw a picture right here. So that's going to be this guy and this guy. So to find this center point, point right here, we just set these two equations equal to each other. So that's what we're doing right there. Okay. And then we solve for x, we get x equals negative 19, and plug it in to get y, we get y equals 53, okay? So there's our center right there. Now the question's asking us to find uh, the diameter, so we're going to use the good old distance formula with this point, the center, and either this point or this point, or I like the origin right here, 0, 0. So we'll use the origin right there to get the 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 radius okay and once we get the radius don't forget we got to uh, double it because it's asking for the diameter right there okay so there's there's the radius okay so it's about 56.3 remember they're in terms of miles right here so if we double it then the whole diameter of that crater is 112.6 miles okay now if you're in my algebra 2 class i'm going to assign you that take care